Welcome to Mass and Hall Access, brought to you by Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield. Live fearless with the name trusted for over 75 years. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining us live on Mass and All Access today. I'm your host, Sarah Perlman, and as you can see, I have Joey Rickard and Trey Mancini joining the show today. Took some questions on Twitter and Instagram, so we'll get to those in a little bit. Also take some of your live questions in a few minutes, but I want to start by talking about the season, guys. We do need to touch on that for a few minutes, so I'll start with you, Trey. First and foremost, thanks for taking the time. Oh, yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. What's going on? Not much. Just hanging out. Yep. Yeah. End, of the, end of the season, it's obviously been a, a rough season for the Orioles. There's no question about that. How have you individually been able to handle it? Uh, it's been tough, especially coming in this year. We had some pretty high expectations for our team, and, and you know, we got off to a rough start, and things um, unfortunately just kind of sp spiraled, and uh, you know, we got to the All-Star break and needed to make the moves that we did. So, um, yeah, it's, it's exciting, looking for, like looking forward to the future with yeah. the rebuild and everything. So, um, yeah, you're definitely taking it stride and, and still appreciate where you are. Joey, you've had an interesting season because when you come up, you've been really successful, but with options, of course, you kind of go back and forth from AAA. Yeah. How do you handle that throughout the season? Oh, it's, I mean, it's just part of it. I mean, you talk to a lot of guys down that have been through it uh, multiple times and you realize kind of what you said, kind of put things into perspective and kind of just go out there and play hard and things will work out. What's your deal against Tampa? Every time you play them, you hit like 800. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Baseball is a weird sport. It really is. So it's really something that I can't explain. I get asked a lot too about it. Uh, why do I hit my you know, old buddies so well? But I, there's really no explanation. I don't think they like when you go down to the trap. No. That's how you lose friends right there. <laughs> yeah, I know. yeah, it is. Well, you guys are still friends for now, I guess, until we get to the later segments today. Trey, your first half was a little rough. The second half of the season, you've been really good. We talked about it before, about some adjustments you've made. What do you feel like the key to your success over the past month have been? Uh, for the most part, it was just kind of slight adjustments at the plate, uh, hopping back on swinging at first pitch fastballs. I was letting a lot of hittable fastballs go, and it was kind of causing me to chase off speed later in the count and roll over and make weaker contact. So um, that's pretty much the biggest adjustment I made there. And then um, the All-Star break was just kind of a natural, yeah. like really good time off, time to get away and everything and, and you know, put some things in perspective. And then I was kind of ready to go after that. And, and yeah, I've been feeling much better. Okay. Joey. You go down to Norfolk, you come back, it's like a whole different team in that clubhouse. What do you think of the new guys? A lot of young guys in there. You're probably feeling older, and, and that's kind of hard to do for you. Yeah, definitely came back, uh, you know, some guys missing some good friends the last couple of years, but realized that's just part of it. But like Trey said earlier, a good group of guys, and I'm very excited to move forward with these guys. All right. Let's take some questions. We got some yesterday. We pulled some from Instagram and Twitter. People had a lot of questions for you guys. I don't know why. Um, they want to know who the funniest guy in the clubhouse is, so both of you can answer this. Just don't say yourself. No, I'm definitely not. <laughs> so I'm trying to think. I'm going to go Adam. Yeah. I'm the funniest. Him. Funniest, yes. He's... He'll love to hear that. I didn't want to say it, but yeah, <laughs> I'll give him credit. Why? It's just he's so witty. He, he always has something to say about everything, and it's pretty clever when you really think about it. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's quick. <laughs> Are you agreeing with him? Yeah, Adam's there, and I think Kashner's up there with him, too. Ooh, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah he cracks that. me up. That's no, really yeah, good. and it's, it's kind of tough to explain, but, um, you know, just the way I interact with him and everything, he cracks me up. Yeah. So, yeah, it's tough not to smile when you're around him. Okay. Yeah. Um, who was your favorite team growing up? Uh, mine was the Atlanta Braves. It's the only team I mean, on a super station in Vegas. It's, I watched them every single day, so I would say them. Wow. What about you? Mine's Tampa Bay, just since I was, oh. I lived an hour from there. <laughs> Joey, so. did, Joey did not like yeah, that. Yeah, so I, yeah, I grew up an hour from Tampa, went to games in the Trop. Um, I'm one of the few people that actually don't mind the Trop too much. It's, you know, maybe a bit old and everything, but you know you're going to play That's that day. You know say, it's going to be 72 least. degrees in there. It's, it's not a bad gig. So. I have a proposal that I just want to get out to MLB if anyone's watching. Everyone should have a roof or a retractable roof. Yeah, I think every, every stadium that's built from here on out should yes. have a retractable yes. roof. Yes. I yes. agree with that. It's like, just make the game on time. Yeah. That's why the drop for us, it's like an away game. We're like, we'll be on time. So. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Let's see. To, um, oh, do you guys have a pregame ritual that's unique? <laughs> Everyone kind of has one. You don't have to give all your secrets, so maybe something that you can share. Something like, I mean... People have certain socks. You could talk about anything that you have, maybe. I don't really have anything specific, but I realize I do do things like the same every single day. Like, you know, one sock, right, left, every day, and it kind of <laughs> just goes from there. It's nothing like specific or crazy. What about you? Yeah, you had you a Lucky Charms thing. Way. Yeah, yeah, so that was in double A, Lucky Charms before every game. Um, <laughs> No, I, I mean, I just like, yeah, if things are going well, I wear the same pair of like 
uh, sliders like under okay. my jersey and everything. I had to put a huge hole in them last night though with that dive into home plate. But so you'll I'm bring them have, back. You're gonna have I'll to bring them back. Them I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna have to stitch them up or something. But yeah, it's mostly just like wearing the same thing I wore the day before things go well. And if not, usually kind of switch it up a little bit. Trey, what's funny? Last time you were on the show, we talked about Lucky Charms, uh, and a million people commented today earlier when we took questions and comments like, "Does he eat Lucky Charms all the time now because he's playing so well?" I'm like, "I don't know. We'll find out." So are you eating Lucky Charms? Yeah, now? I have some at my at my house. Yeah. Okay. So there's actually a fan who. Um, yeah, she, she talked yeah, about that. Yeah. So she had been trying. Yeah, she had been trying to uh, get me Lucky Charms for months, and um, finally, yeah, did. Um, and I got them from her at BP, and and that was the night of the bobblehead night actually. And, and since then, I've been yeah, I've been doing much better. I don't know if it was the Lucky Charms, but that was um, yeah, it might have something to do with okay. it. Yeah. Um, we got a comment right now, by the way, Joey, uh, Corinne Loudon said, Joey, thanks for taking a photo with my dad in Tampa. It meant so much to him. So you um, took a picture with this girl's dad, and she's really happy. Oh, well, well, no what problem. Guy. Thanks what for coming guy. out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ty Kurt, what younger player are you most excited about for the future with the Orioles? I think we got a lot of uh, guys to be excited about, but I think Cedric stands out for sure. Um, I mean, you see him out there from the second he, he made his debut. He's, um, you know, hasn't been scared, hasn't been timid. He just yeah. goes out there and plays hard every day, and he's confident and knows what he can do, and, and he can fly around the outfield. So he's definitely something that sticks out to me as an uh, exciting piece of the future. Do you agree? I agree with that. I mean, this, like you said, there's a bunch down there that, you know, are very exciting to watch and uh, give you some signs to, you know, Give you give you excitement, but uh, I would say him. Stewart came up last night. I've seen him play in AAA a couple couple times this year. So it's, I mean, there's a lot of them. Okay, moving to some questions we got on Twitter. C. Mizell, if you weren't professional baseball players, what would be your occupation? Uh, so I was a political science major in college, and I told everybody that I was going to go to law school, and there's no shot that was going to happen. <laughs> uh, I was kind of banking on baseball to work out. So I honestly don't know what I'd be. I would have gotten a job in some capacity. Uh, but I was really you hoping to baseball. Be a lawyer or? Yeah, I said that, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so no, there's no, you know, I'm not a big fan of reading, not, you know, a big fan of studying, so I don't think law school was going to be for me. So politics weren't in your future. No, absolutely. So you lied. Not. It was a waste. I, there yes. has to be one thing besides law school. It could have been like, I don't know, a fireman, NASA, something you ever thought before baseball. Been pretty, yeah. Um, I don't know, maybe like a, an agent or something, but you again, you probably have to go to law school to okay. be an agent. So okay. yeah, I don't know if that would have happened. Joey? Me? I would be, a, first of all, I was a, like a criminology, so I would be like a forensic investigator type thing. Do you watch Dexter? I would go in that, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, good to know. See them all. All right, like that's that interesting. <laughs> yeah, maybe consider don't, that. Don't copy yeah, his I career yeah. 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 I watch forensic files all the time. Yeah, that's what friends so do, they watch. copy each other's career paths. Yeah. Whatever. Well, you guys play baseball, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, this is an interesting question from Jordan Hessian. I'm sorry if I butchered that, Jordan. If you guys ate a grilled cheese, what cheese would you have on your sandwich? This is serious questions we're getting. Oh, man. So. Maybe pepper jack? I like I'm spicy. Some, some bougie cheese yeah. on <laughs> I like gouda cheese a lot. I think I throw some gouda on mine. Always classic cheddar. <laughs> That's a good question. That is a good question. Well, yeah. Jordan, you got them going. Yeah, okay, what go. else? Um, what's your most memorable MLB moment from the horse to ten? <clears throat> um, I would say... Um, the first home run I hit, um, just having my mom there and, and having it captured was was pretty sp pretty special. But um, being there for the wild card game was really cool too. And I don't think I realized at the time how spoiled I was almost to be there for two weeks and get to experience something like yeah. that. So um, that was definitely really special as well. Shall we? Mine would be opening day in 16, uh, making my debut and uh, running down the orange carpet down there. I think that's pretty special. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool. Okay, let's see what else we got. Um, favorite city to play in besides Baltimore from Doris McGee? Mine is, it's really tough between Chicago and New York because um, that's where all my friends from college pretty much live in those two cities. So um, whenever we go to both of those places, um, I get to see all of them. I'll, I'll probably go New York, um, especially because we play there more, and I just love New York. It's, yeah. a, it's a really cool city. I went there every year with my family growing up, so it's, it's really neat to go back and play um, in Yankee Stadium. Yeah, and you get good fans there at least. Yeah, you know? yeah, absolutely. Joey? I would be... Tampa? Uh, <laughs> nah. I would choose Seattle or Anaheim. I think just being from the West, I always have a lot of family and friends come in town and pretty cool stadiums. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to skip some of these questions. We're going to go to this friendship quiz um, right, that I came it. up with. So for everyone watching, what I did is I asked them questions. I got the answers, but I'm going to have them answer for each other. So when I ask you guys 
um, for an example, favorite color, you would write down Trey's favorite color, you're mm -hmm. gonna write down what you think Joey's favorite color is, okay? Right. So you're gonna write it down, hold it up, and we'll see how well you two really uh, know each other right. because you guys are friends, you're always hanging out in the clubhouse, I see it, so we'll see. We're gonna start easy. What college did you guys go to, oh, yeah. okay? Trey go to? <laughs> I don't know if Trey went to college. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't make it sound like it. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. Hold it up. Show each other. Did you get it right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next. That I'm was sure easy five. one. He never talks started. about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear a Notre Dame shirt every Saturday or anything. Oh, yeah. I'm playing, yeah. Okay. All right. Which city did you grow up in? <laughs> okay. That was good, you guys are doing wow. well. There we yeah. go. Okay, and you knew that it was winter even. Yeah, yeah, that's actually right. pretty impressive. Put those down, okay. This is actually a little tricky. Middle name. You can throw also in his, his first name, his real first name, yeah. if you know. Ooh, yeah. yeah, I do. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm, Just guess. I'm, I'm totally guessing. I'm guessing. I don't know why I think this is it. I'm just gonna throw this out here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we is this got right one that no? you guys no. do know. <laughs> I don't right. feel as bad though. I put Neil. Andrew, Neil? you put Neil? I, I know it's, just, it's your dad's name, right? No. Your middle name is your dad's name though. He goes by Tony. Dang it. I don't, okay. Not really. Okay. All right, the right answer is <laughs> Trey's middle name is Anthony, and then Joey's is Mark. Oh, Neil and Andrew though, that right. wasn't even close, but yeah, I like the effort. That's a terrible guess. <laughs> that's a bad, yeah. Embarrassing. <laughs> okay, next. Favorite TV show? I'm the one who finds this funnier than they do. <sighs> I feel like I should know this one. You do. You know this one. I thought I... Write something. I don't think this is it. You got it. Game you guys of, both said Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. That's not your favorite show, at least. No. You How is that not your favorite I, show? I forgot. I kind of panicked when I gave uh. the answer, but The Office is, I'm always going to uh. go to The Office. The Office is my baby, so, yeah. All right, well, you got his right. Yeah, yes. okay. Game of Thrones. You got me into that show. Yeah, it's what? the best. All right, last one. Your least favorite food. <laughs> I mean. I'll give you mine's a little broader. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Least favorite. Okay. This is actually perfect. All right, anchovies, which is true, Joey. I found out from Austin Wins actually how much you hate anchovies. Yeah, he, I don't know one person yeah, that disgusting. likes anchovies. No, my, so. my dad loves them. He eats okay. them on his pizza all the time. Yeah, it's, it's Freaking out. Yeah. And any okay. seafood for yeah. him. Or, and, yeah. yeah, you all hate seafood. Being from Florida it. and you hate seafood, yeah. that's not right. Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be honestly weird for everyone, but it's gonna be funny. <sighs> so we found out your least favorite foods, so we went out and bought them. We actually have an oyster shocker here behind me. People yes. probably can't see it. You can actually probably just come on and bring these oysters. Sure. Um, thanks so much for coming out. So basically I came up with some hard questions. Um, or what I think that would be hard to answer. So you're either gonna give us an honest answer for everyone watching, or you're gonna take a bite of an anchovy, or you're gonna have an oyster, Trey. Um, <laughs> not good, not All right. good. So you're gonna pass your fears Ma with us here on Massimo Massimo loves Access. having me eat oysters. Thanks, oh. Alex. So Alex is here, shucking some oysters. Nice. Trey looks very Man, nauseous. I'm really gonna not wanna have to answer this question. Okay, okay then you are just gonna oozing. have to go with the Dude, question. It's oozing. <laughs> <laughs> People watching this are probably getting a kick out of this. Okay, are you ready? Yes. I'll start with you. Me? You're gonna okay. answer this question honestly, or you are gonna have a bite of an anchovy. Okay. So get ready to answer. Okay. We need your most embarrassing moment in high school. Most embarrassing moment in depth in story. High school. Hit us, Joey. Man, that's a good question. Um, my most embarrassing. I guess I got turned down. Uh, I asked to go to a dance, and I got rejected in front of everybody. <laughs> and it was it was like at lunchtime. It was kind of a big deal, and you went up to her in the cafeteria. Yeah, yeah. All my buddies were like ready. They were in it, and got shut down. 
but came back swinging. So. <laughs> she's, she's just like regretting we that. Got that <laughs> she's watching like, dang it. All that right. was, oh man, that was. It still hurts, doesn't heartbreak, it? Heartbreak, <laughs> yeah. Okay, no anchovy on that one. No. Trey, answer that Keep question those. or have an oyster. Most embarrassing moment in high school. <sighs> No, nothing really sticks out that much except for right when I started high school. My sister was a senior, I was a freshman, and she was all like, I guess my wardrobe was, you know, very subpar, it still is subpar, <laughs> but, but uh, she laid out like my first two weeks of outfits for me and, you know, I looked in the mirror and was disgusted, but I wore every day, I had like plaid shorts on with like a Hollister shirt and then like by like the fifth day, everybody was like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you look like you're brushing for a frat, you're, you know, a freshman in high school, it's, you know, wear some athletic shorts and call it a day. So, yeah, everybody kind of called me out for that, and, and I think they found out my sister picked my clothes out for me, too. So, um, yeah, that wasn't a good way to start out high school. <laughs> okay, I appreciate the honest answers yeah, to you guys on that yeah, first that one. That was good. Now, this is where it gets interesting, because you might not want to answer this. You need to tell us your most embarrassing moment you have of each other. So if you don't want to share an embarrassing story you have of Joey or of Trey, well, we'll open these up. <laughs> I don't think I know anything too bad. I, I guess yeah. I'm going to eat an oyster Pretty, again. Yeah. I really thought I was going to answer all these questions, but I don't dudes. really have anything. Yeah. Oh, God. You want an oyster? Yeah, I mean, if, if that's the game, I'll, you know. Take a small one. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, we got the, I'm going to have a. What do I do with this? I, I honestly don't know. The rest of the questions you no. should be able to answer. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Most embarrassing story you've had of each other. Is, can I have a fork? <laughs> I'll just... Oh my god. How people eat this stuff? Am I supposed to pick this with my hands? You did it. You did it. I don't know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> How... It makes me eat a full lemon. Oh my god. Okay. Those are hard questions uh, done. <laughs> Just eat that, we're taking you some more. Dude, that you looks so You can weed for the rest of the questions. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you, you to Austin Wins, the catcher, for giving us your least favorite food. Oh, Wins. <laughs> Dude, that looks awful. Austin Wins really helped us. Okay, the rest are easy, I swear. We we've kept you on that, thanks for playing a lot. All right, the world's coming to an end. There's a zombie apocalypse or something happening. You need to leave behind one teammate. There's Jace one guy Peterson. that is gonna, He's gonna bring you down. It's Chase Peterson. Damn, that's a really Wait. hard. That's a tough question. Wait, he's gonna bring us down. Yeah, I feel like he'd help you. He's. Oh like, yeah. He, oh, no, we need bring us that, down. Yeah, I would like, say Tanner Scott. <laughs> 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 like he wouldn't be able to fend for himself. No. Or, yeah. No. Can I pick the same person? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Tanner's yeah. getting Tanner, That's watching. an easy one. We're, we're not really to... that sorry, but Tanner. we're a little sorry. Um, He'll understand. It is what it He'll is. He'll understand. Yeah. yeah, I think he will. Okay, that's funny. Well, you guys had no hesitation answering that one, or you just didn't want another one of these. Yeah, yeah it's more and like. more of that. Okay, <laughs> this is, this is our, our final question, I swear. Your ultimate celeb crush and why? And Ooh. it could be like A-Rod if you wanted, or it could be like a famous actress or whatever. A-Rod? Uh, I'm just saying this oh, could yeah. be a... <laughs> uh, oh, mine's yeah. always been Jessica Alba. My whole, like ever since I was much younger, that's always been my answer. I'm just, yeah. Sticking She's to prime it. time, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's it. Mine's Ariana Grande. I've had a big crush on her for a while. Oh. She's perfect. Shoot your shot. <laughs> great music, great Shoot music. Shoot your shot right now. No, she, she's taken. Wish her the best. <laughs> okay, we got it. Those are good, Jessica Alba, Ariana Grande. All right, I think that's all we have. Thank you guys for playing along. I know those foods oh. were not ideal. Was, yeah, I really never thought I was going to have to eat one of those again. So. <laughs> well, you guys yeah. suck up for each other, so that's true Ugh. friends. Yes. Oh. oh, yeah, yeah. yeah happy, happy birthday. birthday. Oh, thank yes. you. Thank yes. you. Olivia, thanks. Oysters, anchovies, and cookies. Oh, we yay. Got it all. Oh, my God. Looks so good. I won't eat it yet, but after we close this Absolutely. show out, thank you so much. Crushing one of these. All right. Yeah, thank you I'll guys for one. watching Mass and All Access today. Trey Mancini, thank you. Joy Rickard, thank you for playing along. Thanks. Happy Thanks, Friday, everyone. Game tonight. Hope to see you at Camden Yards. I'm Sarah Perlman, Trey Mancini, Joey Rickard. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching Mass and All Access. Brought to you by Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield. Live fearless with the name trusted for over 75 years.